Solving proportions. A proportion is a mathematical statement that has two ratios that are equal to each other. So what you basically have is a ratio on the left, or a fraction, because ratios are, in fact, fractions, and, a, and another fraction on the right. And if they're supposed to be equal to each other, um, that's, that's going to be a true proportion. So determine whether the proportion is a true proportion. Uh, 9 to 6 is your first ratio, and 12 to 8 is your second ratio. So you have these two ratios, 9 to 6, or 9 divided by 6, and 12 to 8, or 12 divided by 8, set equal to each other. We want to check if this is true. Now, we can simply reduce both fractions and see if we get the same answer in simplest form. Or what we can do with ratios, or with proportions, is to do a cross multiplication. Uh, we multiply across 9 times 8 and 6 times 12 and so if we do those two products 9 times uh, 8 and 6 times 12 and if those two uh, products are equal to each other then it would be a true proportion so 6 times 12 happens to be 72 9 times 8 is 72 so yes in fact the proportion 9 to 6 and 12 to 8 is a true proportion Let's check if this proportion is true, uh, 7 to 5 and 6 to 4. Uh, again, we do the cross multiplication, uh, 5 times 6 and 7 times 4. Well, it turns out that 5 times 6 is 30, 7 times 4 is 28. So therefore, uh, this is not a true proportion. Let's see how we can extend proportions to uh, problems of paint can states that a gallon of paint will cover uh, 425 square feet. Painter needs to cover um, 2,550 square feet. So he purchases six gallons of paint. Does he have enough paint to complete the job? So what we want to do is uh, for one can, you got uh, 425 square feet that you need to cover. So we can say 225 square feet for one can uh, as one ratio. And then uh, the painter needs to paint uh, 2,550 square feet. And he bought six cans. So the important thing about setting up your proportion problem is to make sure that the units on top and the numerators will match up. So in this case, the unit in the numerators is square feet. That's 425 square feet and uh, 2,550 square feet. And the units in the bottom are the cans of paint. So that's one can and six cans. So we check if this proportion is true. Uh, we do the cross multiplication. One times 2,550 and six times 425. So they happen to equal each other, so provided that he doesn't make much of a mess and make sure that everything is used up in the can, uh, it looks like the painter should have enough paint to complete the job. Solving proportion problems. Sometimes we have proportion problems where we have an unknown in uh, one of the slots in the, in the two fractions in the proportion. So to find uh, the value that were the value of an unknown we do the cross products set them equal to each other and then we would have uh, a simple equation that we would solve for solve the resulting equation and check the solution so we did some uh, algebra in the previous section so we should be able to do this uh, solving proportions by doing some simple algebra for example we have a, a proportion 8 over 9 equals uh, x over 36 and we want to solve for x so we get this set up uh, we do the cross multiplication and we get 9 times x equals 8 times 36 so your equation ends up being 9x equals 288 uh, to solve for x we divide by 9 on both sides and 288 divided by 9 happens to be 32 so 32 is our answer, or our potential answer, until you check your work. Uh, so you put 32 back into the original equation and check to make sure that this is actually true. And you get 
in fact, uh, 28 equals 28. So uh, your final answer is uh, x equals 32. Here's another one that involves a fraction. Um, so we set up our problem. Again, we do the cross multiplication. 6 times x uh, equals 1 half times 48. And so we put that together. We get a simple equation. 6x equals 24. Solve for x by dividing by 6 on both sides, and x equals 4 would be your potential solution. Again, you check your work. Uh, 1 half divided by 6 equals 4 divided by 48, uh, 4 being your potential solution. And then you see that you get 24 equals 24, a true statement, so your final answer is x equals 4. Caleb drives a semi-truck. Uh, 342 miles in six hours at this rate how far will you drive in eight hours so this looks like a, a word problem that has a potential for a, um, a a couple of ratios that should be set equal to each other so we have a proportion problem so we have a uh, 342 miles in six hours and so we want to know how many miles in eight hours so we have um, a ratio 342 miles to 6 hours, and we want that to be equal to another ratio, an unknown value, to 8 hours. So we have this equation that we would solve for. We do the cross multiplication. We get 6 times x equals 8 times 342. So it's 6x equals 2,736. And then we divide both sides by 6 we get x equals uh, 456. So it looks like uh, Caleb can drive 456 miles in eight hours. A little checking of the work also to make sure that uh, we get the correct answer and we do. And so there's our conclusion. Caleb will be able to drive 456 miles in eight hours. Here we have uh, another ratio problem uh, building models so this is common ratios are common in maps uh, where you have the miles and actual miles versus the number of inches represented in maps or in this case building a model um, the actual car versus the model car so Matthew builds a model for his father's Mustang the ratio of the model uh, the actual car is 1 to 12 if the length of the model is 18 inches long how long is the actual Mustang. So the model is 18 inches long. We have uh, the ratio 1 to 12 can be set as a fraction and 1 would represent the model and 12 would represent the actual car. So the length of the model is 18 inches. How long is the actual car? So 18 to x is our second ratio. As a proportion we set them equal to each other and we do the calculations. We have 1 times x equals uh, 12 times 18. 12 times 18 is uh, 216 inches and since x is already by itself we don't have um, to do any algebra to divide anything out. So we double check to make sure we take 18 divided by 216 uh, do the cross product to ensure that this proportion is in fact a true proportion and so it looks like the length of the actual uh, Mustang is uh, 216 inches or uh, 18 feet.